Hello everyone and welcome to BISP Solutions. I am CS Anjana working as the lead functional consultant at BISP Solutions. I specialize in analyzing and synthesizing the financial data. I have seven years of experience in HFM, FCCS, NetSuite, and so on. BISP Solutions is a tech company providing technological solutions across the globe. We have a far-flung proficiency in end-to-end -end implementation and support. Today, we'll be looking at accounts payables report into the Oracle NetSuite application. Uh, what are the types of report, reports that are offered by the NetSuite application? What all reports can we actually customize depending on our choices and preferences or the organization's policies that we have for the purpose of the formation of the reports? So all that we'll be looking into the NetSuite application. So this is the NetSuite application. Uh, for the accounts payables uh, report, We'll go to the report section, vendors and payables. So as you can see, there are five types of reports that are usually that is inferred from the Oracle NetSuite application. One is the accounts payable aging report, the aging report that is usually prepared in most of the organizations. The other one is the accounts payable register, uh, the simple accounts payable register that is there, which of course can be customized. The other one is the payment history. Uh, now the payment history report is prepared is provided by the NetSuite application into two forms: one, payment history by the bill, and payment history by the payment made uh, to the vendor. And then there are the other, the fifth one is the open bills. So that means every part of the accounts payable is taken up into the NetSuite application for the purpose of the reporting. So let us uh, start and start looking into the reports one by one. So this is the AP aging summary, that is the aging report uh, for the subsidiary UK headquarters consolidated. Now, of course, you can change the subsidiary from here, change the date or change the uh, preference from here. Like if you want on quarterly basis or on any basis, if you want the report to uh, if you want to view it, depends on the uh, any basis that you want to view, you can actually just change that. I'm going to refresh it, uh, refresh it. but before doing that, uh, of course, you can also set the aging options. Aging based on the transaction date or whether you want it from the due date, the aging. And as of today, whatever the date is today, or uh, interval is regular or irregular, and you can select the regular uh, the interval time period if it is irregular. So uh, once you've done this, you can actually refresh it. And whatever changes that you've made, you can actually view what is the changes that you've made. Now coming on to the options that are there, you can collapse all, expand all. Uh, you can prepare a, a graph. You can actually uh, make a graph of this aging report. As you can see, a bar graph can be prepared from this. So this is the bar graph that will be available if we'll have to make certain settings uh, into, as you can see over here, a pie chart, a bar graph, whichever type of chart that you would like to view. You can actually uh, choose it from here and column two, three, four, whatever the columns that you have. So all kind of changes that you would like to make, you can actually make it over here. Uh, here we'll have to make certain changes, may, uh, select certain things and uh, we'll be able to uh, create a graph for this. Also, you can export the report into the Excel format, or PDF format, a Word document, or export as a CSV, or you can print it and mail it to maybe your superior or any person if you want to, want to mail it. You can directly mail it from here. And after that, even after, if you want, you can also customize the report. You can add columns, you can add rows, you can add formula rows to it and you can customize your report depending on your preferences if you've got a customized report into your organization for your uh, preparation so that uh, there is a streamlining there is a uh, sy symmetry there is a harmony in all the reports that are prepared in your organization you can of course make changes depending on the report format that you have into your organization since i do not want to customize it so i'm just going back now, moving on to the other reports that are there in the payables options. Uh, here you have the accounts payable register, the basic accounts payable register that you have. Uh, the accounts payable register, you can actually, uh, you will be able to view it. This is the accounts payable register uh, from, the, from 
first of january 2020 to 30th of june 2020 because it is for the the date selected is for the last fiscal year uh you can select any uh, last month last rolling quarter or any kind of uh, selection that you can make you can just make the changes over here refresh it and whatever the changes that you've made uh they'll be visible to you uh, you can change the subsidiary from here and the customization remains the same. Uh, you can customize the report, add columns, add formula, uh, formula tabs, formula bars, that is formula columns, add rows to it, delete certain rows. You can, of course, customize the whole report depending on your preferences. Moving on to the other, that is accounts payable payment history by the bill. So that means a payment history by the bills that have been created, that have, the bills that have been raised to the vendors and the payment history regarding that. And uh, the other one is the payment made by the payment made. That is not the, when is the payment made irrespective of what is the due date of the bill, uh, what is the due date and what is the aging and assay, et cetera. Uh, when is the payment made? So this one is of course, payment history by the bill. Uh, based on the bill number as you can see this was the bill number the bill was of this date and the bill was paid on this date uh, there you have the account or document number also then again there was another bill the bill date was this the bill payment date was this so all this uh, uh, whatever oh, do you see here that is accounts payable by the uh, accounts payable history or the accounts payment uh, history by the bill so you'll be able to view it by the bill, bill number that is the bill number that you have the bill uh, when is the bill created and when is the bill paid uh, again the customization subsidiary etc goes uh, as per the other reports only then you have payment history by the payment so this is as you can see there we had uh, the bifurcation and everything was based on the bill number now here it is based on the bill payments when is the bill payment made uh, you can select any other date also last month this month whatever your this year xyz whatever changes that you like to make into the dates now this is when is the bill payment made the bill is credited so something related to the payment this uh, report is made uh, in con in con Fact with the or in concern with the payments that are made and not when the bill is raised when the bill is paid it is made from the bill payment now here as you can see there are three bill payments made in this particular month so I will be able to see these three bill payments uh, only so this is in context with the uh, payments that are made and not the uh, bills that are due for payments etc and then you have your open bills report all the bills that are open uh, for payment or for returns or any uh, bills that are open uh, now this is as of date so these many bills are open uh, for payment now open bills can be used for return also can be used for credit also but all these payments are open that need, needs to be made so this these are the all types of reports that are there into the NetSuite application uh, in context to the accounts payables. So this was all from my side in case of any uh, issues, errors, concerns, information or consultations. Just get back to us from at uh, www.bisbsolutions.com. Thank you so much.